This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. It's going to be by faith. The things that God has called us to do or the things he wants us to do is going to be by faith. So we're going to look at faith for ministry and we're starting that course today. The call of God on your life will require you to live by faith. I want to say that again. I said the call of God on your life and on my life will require me to live by faith. And the scripture established said that just shall live by faith. It is by faith we carry out the will of God for our ministry. It is by faith that we carry out the will of God for our ministry. It is impossible for we to succeed in the things that God has called us to do as a piece of faith. It is impossible for we to succeed in the things that God has called us to do as self is by faith. A minister of the gospel is that individual with the ability to believe what God has said and he's willing to act on it. A minister of God is that individual with the ability to believe what God has said and he or she is willing to act on that word. And whatever God has called you to do, you're going to do it by faith. Whatever the call of God is in your life, you are going to do it by faith. He said, he that cometh to God must believe. If you come to God, you have to believe. Uh, how do you believe the God that you don't trust? You have to trust him to believe that what he said will come to pass and what he has said to you is true. And if we don't have the knowledge of his word or the knowledge of his will, it will be difficult for us to project his purpose for our lives. And there are certain things that God wants you to experience. There are things he wants you to come into and that can only happen by faith. And that was why the scripture said, said the just shall live by faith. I'd like us to go to Hebrew 11. Everyone that God called that did great things did it by faith. Everyone that God called that did great things did it by faith. Everyone that God called that did great things did it by faith. Now, if it is not by faith, it means it's not the will of God. If it is not by faith, it cannot produce the God kind of results. And that is why it's important that we develop our faith in God. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. You know, some of us said, Well, I am not a prophet, I'm not an apostle, I'm not an evangelist. No, it doesn't matter who it does not matter who you are. What matters is that God has called you. <laughs> you know, what I mean by this is, some people said, I'm not calling to the apostolic ministry. I'm not calling to the prophetic ministry. I'm not calling to the pastoral ministry. So what do I need faith for? You will always have a need for faith. You will always have this understanding that I need to walk by faith concerning the things God has called me to do, concerning the things the Spirit of God has revealed to me to do. And whatever the Spirit of God has revealed to me to do, I have to do it by faith. And that was why the scripture said that just shall live by faith. That is how the just live. They live by faith. So here he says, now faith is the substance of things hopeful. You will always walk by faith if you are going to stay in the will of God. And none of us can successfully stay in the will of God except you are walking by faith. Because God will give you certain instruction that does not make sense. 
He's going to give you certain instruction about ministry, about business, about relationship, in, in many areas of your life. And you need to act on that instruction. You need to take that instruction and say, I'm going to take this instruction and I'm going to act on it. And that is where faith comes in. Because whatever God is asking you to do, or whatever God has instructed you to do, it is by faith you have to step out. Whatever instruction God gives to you. So walking and living by faith is foundational for advancing the ministry, for advancing your business. Walking by faith, living by faith is the will of God. And God has called us into the lifestyle of faith. A lifestyle where we can believe his word, we can stand on his word, and we can act his word. That's the lifestyle he has called us to. The lifestyle of faith. And here we saw he said, now faith is the substance of, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. For you to have a good report in ministry is going to be by faith. For you to have a good report in ministry, it is going to be by faith. If whatever we don't do by faith is sin. Whatever we do, if we don't do it by faith, it is sin. And it is by faith we unlock the expression of the will of God for our lives and ministry. It is by faith we unlock the expression of the will of God for our lives and ministry. So it is by faith we we'll carry out the will of God. So whatever God has called you to do, most times God will ask you to do something and the resources are not there. Especially maybe the finances are not there. But he's expecting you to take a step of faith. That step of faith will unlock the resources you're looking for. He's expecting you to take the step of faith. And, and that step of faith you're about to take will lead to uncommon manifestation. And that is why when God asks you to do something, he's not expecting you to do it in your strength. He's expecting you to trust in the integrity of of his word, and when you rely on the integrity of his word, great things will happen. In Hebrew example of a man who stepped out to believe God. A perfect example of a man who stepped out to believe God. A perfect example of a man who stepped out to believe God. Let's look at Genesis chapter 12 and verse 1. In Genesis 12 verse 1, it said, Now the Lord said to Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from your family and from your father's house to a land I will show you. Now, he hasn't been there before. God will give you an instruction with an expectation that you will be responding to what he has told you. He will give you an instruction and he said to him, leave. Look at it. And the Lord, the Lord said to Abraham, get thee out of thy country. Get thee out of thy country. Get thee out of thy country from your family and from your father's house to a land I will show you. There is a land he wants to show you. There is a place he wants to show you. There is a manifestation he wants to reveal to you. But he can't show you that in the place where you are right now. He will show you when you take the step of faith by responding to what he's saying. You see, what God is saying is more important than what I feel. I may feel like it's not going to happen. That's my feeling, but that's not what God said. My focus should be on what God has spoken to me, on what the Spirit of God has revealed to me. That should be my focus, not just how I feel. If I go by feeling, I'm going to miss it. If I go by the word of God, I will come into manifestation. If I go by feeling. And here when the Lord gave the word to Abraham, get thee out of your country. He said, now the Lord has said to Abraham, get thee out of thy country from your family and from your father's house to a land I will show you. Now, reset is an action based on the revealed word of God or an instruction that God gave to you. 
I want to say that again. I say real faith is based on the revealed word of God. It's based on the revealed word, a word that God has revealed to you. God revealed that word to you. God gave you that word. And you started acting on that word. That is how you get results. That is how you get manifestation. That is how you get supernatural results. Acting on that word is called faith. Acting on what God has spoken. Acting on the written word. On what God has spoken to you. He told you to go left and you're going left. He didn't care what someone else could say. Or what it could look like in the natural. Because faith is an action based on the word of God. That is what it takes. Faith is an action based on the word of God. If I, if I say I'm walking by faith, it means I'm responding to what God is telling me. I am responding to what God is telling me. Whatever God is telling me is the foundation for my faith expression. So the call to ministry is the call to walk by faith. A lot of people want to see everything before they obey God. They want to see the finance, they want to see the car, they want to see the land, they want to see the building, then they can believe, okay, God is with me. No, most of the things that you want to see is in your faith walk. Most of the manifestation you want to have is in your faith walk. So he's going to, he's going to tell you what to do. And he expects you to act on what he has revealed to you. What has he revealed to you? What is God telling you? Maybe he told you, uh, go plant a church. Or maybe he tell you, go start a business. Maybe he tell you to go get a job. Maybe he told you something. Whatever he has spoken to you should be the basis for your action and your decision. True faith is an action based on the revealed word of God. And here we saw Abraham as a perfect example, a man who responded to God. A man who responded to God. Look at his response. Look at the response of this man. The Bible said in Genesis 1, verse, uh, Genesis 12, verse 1, he said, Now the Lord said to, and now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get thee out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land I will show you. Now he could have said, oh, oh, Where is the land? Show me the land. Tell me. Give me detail. You know, a lot of people are asking God for detail. But what God actually is intending to do is to give them light for where they are to help them get to where they are going to. But they are asking for detail. Lord, tell me this. Lord, tell me that. Lord, tell me how it's going to happen. Lord, tell God will not be able to tell you everything. The reason being that if God tells you everything you will go through, to get to where you ought to be, you'll be discouraged. If God tells you that you're going to have an opposition, you're going to have to let you know, there are things you hear by the virtue of hearing them, you can just feel like, man, I don't need this. Imagine God told Joseph, uh, you're, you're going to be betrayed by your brothers. Uh, you're going to be in the pit. You know, you're going to be in, going to slavery. They will sell you as a slave. You know, who wants to hear that? Nobody. Hearing that alone, he can tell God, please, if this is how the dream will come to pass, I don't want it. What God does is that he reveals the beautiful pictures that will serve as a source of hope, inspiration, and encouragement to keep you in the path of the process of getting to your destination in him. So if you don't have this understanding and you say, well, I'm dealing with hard time, I'm going through a tough situation and a challenging situation, what God wants from you is to stand on his word and act on that word. So here we saw that Abraham in Genesis 12, verse 3 said, I will make you a great nation and I will bless you and I will make your name great and you shall be a blessing. And verse 3 said, and I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you. He said, and in you all the families of the earth will be blessed. Verse 4 said, so Abraham departed as the Lord have spoken to him. So Abraham departed. Now faith is action. Faith is an action. And it's important that in whatever God has called you to do, he's expecting you to do it by faith. Whatever God has called you to do, he's expecting you to do it by faith. Can I say this to you? Your work with God can only prosper 
when you approach it from a faith perspective. I want to say that again. I said your work with God, your assignments with God, your ministry with God, your business with God, whatever you're doing can only prosper when you approach it from a faith perspective. He said, he that comes to God must believe. So when you come to God, you expect it to believe. He said, he that comes to God must believe. Because if you don't believe, it is an indication that you're not responding to his will. So if you're going to walk by God, if, sorry, if you're going to walk with God, sorry, if you're going to walk with God, it is going to be by faith. And that is how Abraham did it. That's how Moses did it. That's how Joshua did it. That's how Paul did it. That's how Jesus did it. It was by faith. Everything was not in place. But if faith is in place, it will create everything needed for the assignment. Everything was not in place. But if, if faith is in place, it will bring everything required for the assignment. Everything was not in place. They didn't have all the resources. But you see, when you're walking by faith, it puts you in a position where you can unlock the will of God, where you can unlock the plan of God, where you can unlock the purpose of God, that by faith you start seeing possibility. When men say there is a casting down, you can boldly say there is a lifting up. Why? Because you're walking by faith. Because you're walking by faith. He said the just shall live by faith. Most things that God will ask you to do, He will expect you to take steps of faith towards it. Most things that God will ask you to do, He will expect you to take the steps of faith towards it. And taking the steps of faith begins with the revelation of His goodness, His ability. And his grace. If I have the revelation of his goodness, if I have the revelation of his ability, if I have the revelation of his graces, I'll be able to step up knowing that he's the God who never fails. To build a mega business will be by faith. To build a mega company will be by faith. Steps of faith are proofs of victory. Steps of faith are the proofs of victory. They are the proofs of victory. When people are taking steps of faith, and remember that we take steps of faith by the word God has given to us. Faith is not a leap in the dark. Faith is based on the revealed word of God. Faith is not a leap in the dark. That someone says walking by faith just like that. No, God, there is a word here. This is Genesis 12. It's a perfect example of the expression of the faith life. This is a faith adventure. Here, he got the word from God. Abraham didn't start the journey by himself. He started the journey with a word from God. Faith begins with a word from God. That's how faith works. Faith begins with a word from God. If you have no word from God, you have no faith in that area. If you don't have a word from God, you don't have a faith in that area. The area where you have faith is the area where you have a word from God. So when God gives you word for it and you act on that word, it's an indication that you have faith in that area. So you can't just stand, do whatever you want to do. You will do what you are instructed to do. That's how faith works. A proof that you're in faith is that you're making the word of God your final authority. That you're taking steps by what God has spoken. You are not taking steps by what you feel. Faith is not a feeling. Faith is an action that proceeds from the knowledge of the truths of God's word. Faith is an action that proceeds from the knowledge of the truth of God's word. So God will say something to you and you step on that. You, you, you stand on that. That's a faith action. And that was what was saw in Genesis here. And he said, so Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken. Abraham did not depart because so someone suggested it to him. Or he felt like doing that. Feeling is not faith. Real faith is an action based on God's word. 
If God has not given you a word concerning it, there is no need for you to faith on it. You know, I think some people sometimes they're trying to have faith for something they have no revelation for. And then they get frustrated and things are not working and they felt like, oh, this thing is not working. Oh, this thing is not happening. Why? Because you didn't have the word from God in that area. The area where you don't have the word of God is the area where you don't have the foundation for expectation. Our expectation is based on the revelation we have received. Our expectation is based on the revelation we have received. So when God asks you to do something, it means the faith to do it has arrived. When God instructs you to do something, the faith to do that thing has come. Don't say, oh God, give me more faith. No, that word you heard is the faith. It's a faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when God gives you a word, he has given you what it takes to release his will. His will is found in his word. If you want to find out what the will of God is, know what God is saying. If you want to find out where your faith should be going, get to know what God is saying. Because whatever he's saying is the foundation of the faith operation. A ministry we hear and do. We don't do what we feel like doing. We do what we're instructed to do. The beauty of ministry is to operate from a place of divine instructions. You, it will help you stay out of trouble. It will help you stay out of crisis. It will help you stay out of issues that you shouldn't be having business with. The, the beauty of ministry is to operate with divine instructions. It's the beauty of ministry. It's for you to operate with divine instruction. God said it, I'm doing it. God have not said it, I will wait until he has declared it. This understanding will help you to stay focused, will help you to stay effective, will help you to stay strong. When God has spoken, what he has said should be my thinking. When God has spoken, what he has said should be my passion. When God has spoken, what he declared should be my imagination. My imagination should proceed from revelation. My imagination should proceed from the revelation of his word. If the revelation of his word is my imagination, no situation can stop me from expressing my potential. No situation. Because my imagination is based on that which he has spoken. And here we saw that this man obeyed God. His obedience was based on what God has said. He didn't just start the journey. He didn't just start the ministry without a voice from God. You know, some people start ministry based on offense. They got halted where they are. They, they just went and started a church. There were no heal. There was no reconciliation. There was no peace. There was no forgiveness because they were halted. Or maybe the pastor did something wrong. Or maybe the pastor fell into adultery or fornication. Or maybe the pastor stole the church money or something went wrong in the church. And somebody got angry and went to start a church. That is not how to start a church. That's the wrong way to start a church. And a lot of people are now web. They are caught with that. They started ministries in offense. You don't start a ministry in offense. You start ministry based on the word of God. You don't start ministry from offense. Any ministry rooted in offense doesn't last. Any ministry that is rooted in offense does not last. Any step based out of offense will lead to a huge struggle. So that is why it's important to get these things clear. If God has not spoken, don't start it. If God has not said it, don't act. You have no reason to act on something that you have no clue of. You have no reason to act on something you have no clue of. If I don't have a clue about it, I don't have to act on it. If God has not spoken to me, I will not act on it. If God said it to me, I will act on it. If God has not spoken, I'm not going to act on it. If, can I say this to us? If you are not word of God minded, you're going to lose out. And the enemy wants you to lose that because it takes joy in people's failure. It takes joy in their failure. He said, the just shall live by faith. In Rome, I want to read this scripture and then we'll round up from here. Romans 10, 17. In, in Romans chapter 10, in Romans 10, 17, and, and look at what he said here. He said, Romans 10, 17, he said, thank you, Father. 
It says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So then faith comes by hearing. This is how it comes. The faith to do comes by hearing. The faith to act comes by hearing. The faith to expect comes by hearing. The faith to keep moving in the right direction comes by hearing. The faith to manifest the purpose of God for your life comes by hearing. It's a faith comment by hearing. So as you hear, it empowers you to do. Your doing comes from your hearing dimension. If I am not hearing from God, I have no basis for action. If I'm not hearing from God, I don't have what it takes to unlock the will of God or to manifest the will of God. So hearing has to be the key. If the Lord have not spoken, let's wait until God have spoken. It is better to be behind God than to be ahead of God. It is better to be behind God than to be ahead of God. Trying to be ahead of God can hurt your life, can hurt your purpose, can ruin your life. It is better you're behind him than to be ahead of him. He said, I will go before you and make the crooked places straight, the crooked path straight. So if you go before God, do you think you can make those crooked places straight? You don't have the capacity. You don't. But when he goes before you, and how does God go before you? Is when he speaks to you. God goes before you when he speaks to you. When God gives you a word, he has gone ahead of you. When God gives you a word, he has gone ahead of you. When he gives you a word, he has gone ahead of you. And he expects you to act on that word that he has given to you. He expects you to act on that word that he has given to you. If he has given you a word, he wants you to act on it. That word he has given to you is the key to unlocking the future. God goes ahead of us by his word. God goes ahead of us by his word. How do you know that God has gone ahead of you when he speaks to you? When he gives you a word concerning it, it means he has gone ahead of you. And he expects you to follow his leadership. The leadership of the word puts you in a position of supernatural victory. If you respond to the leadership of God's word, nothing can be impossible to you. The leadership of the word will lead to supernatural victory. The leadership of the word, what is the spirit of God saying about this? What is the Spirit of God saying about this? Faith is a response, is response that is based on the word. It's a response that is based on God's word. So in this season of ministry and business and whatever God has called you to do, hear before you do. Don't just do it and expect him to get involved when he has not given you a word. When God has not given you a word, it is difficult for you to bail yourself out when you're in trouble. But when you have a word from God, he will always make a way for you. Thank you for being part of this class today. And we're going to continue tomorrow. We've just started faith, uh, faith in ministry. And this is the part one of faith. And we're going to be back tomorrow. And you can get our books by going to Amazon.com. There is witness in you. And for the things you need to know about your future. You can also watch me every day by going to finishworktv.com. And also, you can stay connected with us by praying for this ministry and partner as the Spirit of God will lead you. You can do your partnership by going to finishwebtv.com and slash giving, or you can go to PayPal, it's with my teaching at gmail.com. And thank you for being part of this class. Until I see you tomorrow morning, don't forget this. There is witness in you, and Jesus is coming soon.